out, stays with Dempe. As Coach Torrey Tyson decides to give UCLA another look early in this game through the first round of hitters. So this is a left-hander, Gonzalez, sophomore from Atwater, 5-5, and a 2-0 pitch. That is ball three. Three and out of Savannah Pola. The next one is in there for a strike, three and one. Joining us, Amelia Weber got the start tonight for Howard. Got through one round of hitters and was taken out by Tory Tyson on a 2 0 count with two outs and the base is empty. And the second time now, Pola has reached this one by way of walk. Maya Brady now stands in. Brady Watts in her first plate appearance tonight. 35 for 70 on the year, exactly 500. First pitch in there for a strike. Three to nothing, Bruins in the bottom of the second. Nice crowd on hand. Conference game before the Pac-12 kicks in this weekend in Berkeley. 0-1 pitch that is fouled away. And Gonzalez is ahead, nothing in two. Gonzalez in her sophomore season got 24 appearances last year. That one waved out and miss, gets away from the catcher, and the throw to first, strikeout reported two to three, and the Bruins have stranded two through two innings tonight. But they still lead it three to nothing as we go to the third on UCLA Bruins.com. Hey, Bruin fans, it's now time to play Pocket Little, presented by Ralph's. Dig through those pockets and purses. The first person to stand up and run down to a member of the marketing staff with the following item will win a $25 gift card, courtesy of Ralph's. Tonight's item, a set of Jeep keys. Tonight's Ralph's Pocket Little Item, a set of Jeep Keys. Fans, tonight's Pocket Little Item, a set of Jeep Keys. Okay. So... Tonight's hit, a, a Ralph's Pocket Little Item, a set of Jeep Keys. Tonight's Pocket Little Item, a set of Jeep Keys. Thank 
This is the room for Howard number 11. Where are you at? Give it a play for Howard, third baseman number three, James Green. For the Bruins, uh, Janelle Moreno is in center. There's a strike to Green, 0 and 1. Moreno now in the number two spot. Now to Green. And check swing. And strike oh, oh. to Green. One ball, two strikes. Her start, like the better start is not on time. Right? One and two infield coming in a few steps. That ball will foul off the right hand side. Keep it one and two with a Howard third baseman. Last of the order, Jay Green. Ninth start of the year. She is six for 18 on the season. 333 and has driven in three. Sophomore from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. One of the non California kids. There's a swing and a miss. And Taylor Tinsley, a handful of strikeouts, two and two thirds into her evening. Coming on plate for the Bison, zero, Alyssa Watson. So back to the top goes Howard Watson, stands in. Ball hit off the bottom of the bat and coming up two steps behind the circle. And on the run, making the catch is Maya Brady. Hey, fans, be sure to stick around after and the that'll be the third up. out. So that one, a very quick top of the third for Tinsley. Bottom half of the inning coming up. <laughs> Grant and Woolery to follow. And Gonzalez into her second inning in relief of Amelia Weber, who lasted just the one round of hitters, at least to this point. First pitch misses, ball one to Palacios. All three runs, of course, charge to the starter, Weber. Gonzalez came in on a 2 0 count with two outs to Pola, who has since been taken out. Mayonio in her spot. The new center fielder, Kennedy Powell, turns out stays in the game as designated player. And Kelly Gooden moving from center to left, still at the bottom of the lineup. Gonzalez winds up at one and one. That one driven the left, base hit for Charlize Palacios.
20th hit as a Bruin, Charlize Palacios. 20 for 63. And Kirk Walker coming out, talking with Robert Penikoff. There's gonna be another change. It's gonna be a pinch runner. And it will be Lauren Carter. No. Lauren Hatch, excuse me. Lauren Hatch coming in to pinch run at first. Here is Megan Grant. That is in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Grant with the sacrifice fly, scoring the first Bruin run of the night, bringing in Savannah Pola. Jordan Willery would follow up with a two-run home run. Two outs at the time. Starting pitcher Amelia Weber was a strike away from getting out of the inning with just one run allowed, but long foul ball hit by Willery just missed the foul pole, in fact. And on the next, very next pitch, the adjustment made, and she sent one over the scoreboard, Willery did for the two run shot, her third career home run. Two one pitch, bouncing ball foul to the right. Two balls and two strikes to Megan Grant. Tonight's starting third baseman. No Seneca Kuro. Two two from Gonzalez. That is hit into left field, coming on in on a high liner. Uh, Howard left fielder Marin Jordan makes the catch. One on and one out. So here is Woolery. All 24 starts in her career. Hit her third home run in the first inning. RBIs 21 and 22. Pitch is elevated there, 1 0 to Woolery. Freshman out of Walnut Creek. Looks at one downstairs, two and out of the count. Two and out from the lefty, change up low, throw down a second, Hatch slides in without a tag. That goes in and out of the glove of Ricks would not have been a play anyway. Stolen base. 3-0 and meanwhile to Woolery. Now a runner on second with one gone. Charlize Palacios. At second, 3-0 on Woolery's next one. That is in there. 20th pitch for Mia Gonzalez in relief. Count goes to three and one. So Hatch on second, deep in the hole there to second. And the short throw to first, 4-3 put out. Ricks to Stewart. Meanwhile, Hatch goes to third. We are going to have a pinch hitter here with two outs. It's going to be Jayla Castro. And she will be in Powell's spot. Six, 
sophomore from Rockland. And has just one official at bat. She is 0 for 1. First pitch low, ball one. Hatch on third with two gone in the bottom of the third. 1-0 pitch. That's a strike. One and one. Howard bullpen continuing to work like crazy. They got three players. Three pitchers throwing down there. The right field bullpen. Bruins now with three hits tonight. Next one is low. Two balls and one strikes to Jayla Castro. Very chilly night. Easton Stadium, 54 degrees tonight at first pitch. Clear skies. Got some weather coming in this weekend. There's a nasty changeup we have seen all night by Howard pitching. Castro way ahead of it, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs with Hatch on third, three to nothing Bruin lead. The next one is grounded foul. Two and two, Gonzalez looking in. Infield in, outfield shaded to the left. The two, two on the way. That's hit in the air, right center field and catching up with it. And on the run is Kalita Dennis, four time All MEAC honoree. So the Bruins leave another inning number four, UCLA three to nothing. Alyssa Garcia in to catch for UCLA. Redshirt junior out of Chula Vista has done plenty of catching for the Bruins in the past. Three runs, three hits for the Bruins, no runs, a hit for Howard, grounded to Vines there, bobbles it for a moment, picks it up, and then the throw, the sidearm throw to first. One pitch, one out as Jordan is set back to begin the fourth inning. Here comes Kalita Dennis. Right-handed hitting, right fielder, a grad student now hitting 317, a four-time all-conference honoree. In the 2019 season, the MEAC Rookie of the Year swings and misses there, 0-1, preseason player of the year this year. And in fact, before things were shut down in 2020, she was on the initial National Player of the Year watch list the list of 50 to begin the season in 2020. The 0 1 pitch fouled away to the right. 0 and 2 to Dennis. Made the first team all conference a year ago, originally from Elk Grove, California. RBI leader in her conference last year with 49, number two in home runs with 10. Sends the ground ball down to Vines once again, and the throw to first. Couple of ground balls to Anna Vines to start the uh, fourth inning. And here is Stewart. Six foot freshman at Elise Summit, Missouri. Stewart 0 for 1. She hits one in the air, left field playable, crossing the foul line and making the catch is Kelly Gooden, a very fast, very fast top of the fourth. Two quick ground balls down to Vines. 
And then a foul out down the left to Gooden. And we are halfway through regulation tonight. Final non-conference game before Pac-12 kicks in. It is three to nothing UCLA. Coming right back to Easton Stadium. Lauren Carter starts off UCLA in the bottom of the fourth with a 3 0 lead. All three runs coming in the bottom of the first following a sacrifice fly hit by Megan Grant, a score Savannah Pola, and then a two run shot for Jordan Woolery, her third career home run. Making it 3 0. Lauren Carter looks at one high, ball one. Mia Gonzalez, meanwhile, into her third inning. There's a rip, hard rip off one hop and snatched away beautifully by Jade Green and throws across the diamond for the first out. Very hot hop for Green who handled it very well. One away. Here comes Anna Vines. Vine struck out. Caught looking on a incredible changeup. Tries to put one down and it goes foul. Picked up at the plate there. Nothing at one. Vines now at 257. Left-handed senior Kelly Gooden on deck. And then back to the top. And Vines in her 14th start out of these 24 ball games. That's outside. Of course, really known for all her incredible defensive efforts over the years. One and one. Gonzalez, the left hander throws. That ball ripped and on one hop. Takes a bad turn on the second baseman. Throw to second. Vines just keeps on going, and she slides in safely. Leilani Ricks could not keep that one in front of her and chased it down herself, and Vines never hesitated to go to second. So the Bruins have a runner in scoring position with one out here is Kelly Gooden. All right, go ahead and rule it a straight double for Anna Vines. And that'll be Anna's first double on her 10th hit this year. Strike to Gooden, nothing on one. Yeah, that's, that would make more sense to me. Go ahead and give Vines a single and advancing to second. So 
So one and one to Kelly Gooden. One one from the lefty. The bunt goes foul there. One ball and two strikes. One, two to Gooden, that's taken outside. Two balls, two strikes. Outfield in, shaded to the left as most people are for Kelly Gooden. Bouncing ball, foul to the right. Keep it two and two. Good in now hitting 370, nothing for one tonight. Gonzalez now an inning and two thirds into her night. And here's her 37th pitch in relief. Bouncing ball foul to the right. Keep it two and two. Now yeah, we thought Vines may have had her first double of the year, but that they're gonna change it to a single and then advancement on the throw. She's on second either way, two and two, one away, and that one is going to be low. Runs the count full to Kelly Gooden, who has since moved to left field tonight. Bruins will go back to the top. The on-deck circle, it'll be Janelle Mayonio And the spot, Savannah Pola. 3-2 pitch, that's a comebacker taken away by Gonzalez. Throw to first, and that is in time. That is the right play, although it almost cost Gonzalez. Spent too much time worrying about Vines going to third. And then her being a left-hander, she had to turn her body, and it almost cost her entirely. So here comes Janelle Mayonio with a runner on third in the form of Anna Vines with two outs. Bruins trying to get a little more breathing room here in the bottom of the fourth, and of course doing the damage. Two gone in the first inning. The two run homer by Woolery. Trying to tack on more with two outs here. Change up and high, ball one. So Janelle Mayonio, 5'4", redshirt junior. Of course, the former Arizona Wildcat. Originally from Hacienda Heights. Just one hit in the Cal State Fullerton tournament. A strike thrown there, one and one. She had seven official at bats through the five games. Overall, 250 on the year. Eight for 32. Let's walk five times. One, one to Mayonio. That's low and in. Bruins now have hit 22 home runs on the season. So getting just about one per game, including the one tonight. Third career home run for Willery. 2-1 pitch. That's hit in the air into center field. Shallow left center, in fact. Really held up. And I think it kind of kind of fooled uh, that Howard center fielder, Watson, for a moment. Finally came in, made the play. So yet another runner is stranded. And the Bruins have stranded a runner. And
Alyssa Vasquez starts it off for Howard in the top of the fifth. UCLA three to nothing. And the first pitch is driven into left field off of Tinsley for a base hit. Second hit for Howard. And Vasquez wastes no time, wastes uh, no time going for it. And it pays off. Here is Sidney Fletcher. One other Pac-12 team in action tonight. It was California winning at UC Davis in extra innings, eight to five in eight. So Cal will have 17 wins when the Bruins see them on Friday afternoon, if that game even gets played. There is some bad weather expected this weekend in Berkeley. Of course, being a Pac-12 series, they'll do everything they can to play the three games one way or another, even if you have to, of course, get a double header in or even be in a wraparound situation extending into Monday if you had to. But uh, as of now, one would absolutely be led to believe there's going to be some shifting around in that series. 0-2 pitch popped up right-hand side in foul territory, and it clears the screen. And it goes to 0-2 to Fletcher. O two, 2 way outside, one ball and two strikes. That one swing and a miss, and Tinsley's got a six strikeout to her night. As Fletcher strikes out. So Fletcher, who got the first hit tonight for Howard, strikes out here. And Sidney Jones will be the pinch hitter for Howard. And there for Doss. Jones coming in 267, four for 15. With a couple of RBIs, has a double to her name this year. Fouls one back. Jones, a junior from Whittier, went to Gar High School. There's a Southern California kid. Taylor Tinsley, four and a third into her night has just given up two singles, no walks, six strikeouts. Ball popped up into foul territory it goes, and Megan Grant coming down the line, easily makes that second out. And Leolani Rick Ricks uh, stands in. Chips one foul, left-hand side, 0-1, two outs now in the top of the fifth. Been a struggle, in terms of, certainly in terms of scoring runs for Howard on this California trip. This is their sixth game. Did manage to score three runs last game against Cal Baptist, but outside of that, Hasn't been much. You know, one from Tinsley will miss. One ball, one strike. They 
our favorite to get to their third ever NC2A tournament this year. A couple of hops, and that will be off the edge of the glove of Maya Brady. And that will be an error on Brady. Each shortstop now with an error in this game. The only reason that was not played by Maya, it was the indecision. Couldn't decide whether to take it off the first hop or the second. A little hesitation there. And it trickled off the edge of her glove. So two on and two out. First time Howard tonight with two aboard. It's the fifth air this year on Maya Brady. That one is high. Green is 0 for 1, otherwise 6 for 19 on the season with three runs batted in. One of the two non-Californians in tonight's starting lineup for Howard. 1-0 pitch. That's in there for a strike, 1-1. Representing the possible tying run at the plate, top of the fifth. Next one to green, that's a strike, one and two. Tinsley looking for a seventh strikeout to her night. That would be a nice time to get it with two aboard here in the fifth. One, two, pitch. That's high, two and two. So Vasquez on second, Ricks on first. Two and two to Green. The last of the order. Outfield straight up and in. That's outside, three and two. Howard's got a really good hitter on deck. The top of the order, Watson. 316 coming in. Payoff pitch. Foul ball. Uh, big time Tuesday night crowd tonight, no question. It's first ever regular season scheduled game against an HBCU for the Bruins. Swing and a miss there. Seven strikeout for Taylor Tinsley and Howard Strands two. And Tinsley, the Bruins, hold on to their 3 nothing lead as we go to the bottom of the fifth on UCLABruins.com.
On to the bottom of the fifth at Easton Stadium. Bruins right now living on the three runs in the bottom of the first. That's been it. Three runs, four hits, one error. Howard, no runs, two hits, and one error. Taylor Tinsley has just given up the two singles and has seven strikeouts. Has not walked anybody. Here is Maya Brady. Palacios and Grant to follow in the Bruin fifth. Gonzalez back to work. Popped up. This is in foul territory. It'll stay inside the screen, and it will be dropped. Brady somehow will live to see another here in the bottom of the fifth. So Doss on the re-entry. Could not hang on, what obviously should have been the first out. See what Brady ends up making of this at bat. 0 and 1. That'll come low and away. One ball, one strike. Brady is 0 for 1 with a walk. And a run scored. Struck out. That's another pop-up. This one, I believe, is going to clear the screen. It will. Right behind the plate. A couple of foul ball strikes right behind the plate for Maya Brady. Very fortunate to still be up there. And actually on deck for UCLA as Alyssa Garcia in the spot of Palacios took over behind the plate last inning. So the one two here to Maya Brady and that is maybe one of the worst plate appearances you'll see all year from Maya. Second strikeout for Mia Gonzalez in relief. And here is Alyssa Garcia. Garcia's five for 20 on the season. 250. First pitch in there for a strike, 0 and 1. So Gonzalez now talk about settling in after the three runs given up by the starter, Amelia Weber. Gonzalez has given up two hits in two and two thirds, a couple of strikeouts, and has thrown exactly 50 pitches in relief and has given her team a chance. 1-1, one, one, reached out at a Cued off the end of the bat there and foul. One ball, two strikes to Alyssa Garcia. In the spot of Charlize Palacios, the number three spot. And Megan Grant on deck. One, two is on its way. That's a ground ball. Two hops. Very playable for the second out. And this one handled by Sidney Fletcher. Two away. For Megan Grant. Grant 0 for 1, sends a towering fly ball into left center, and look out, almost a collision there. That's the center fielder's ball. She comes in, makes the play, trying to get, up, get uh, Jordan out of the way. It was Alyssa Watson for the third out, and the Bruins yet again turned away with their bats in the fifth inning. Sitting on this 3-0 lead, all the damage from the first inning. We go to the sixth on UCLABruins.com.
All right, Megan Faramo is in for UCLA with a 3 to nothing lead as we go to the sixth inning. 3-4-1, and one, the Bruin line 0-2-1, and one, the Bison line. And Megan Faramo coming in in the sixth, tied for the national lead with 11 wins to her name this year. She is 11-1, and one, ERA of 1.26. 16th appearance, ninth out of the bullpen. Uh, Softball America Pitcher of the Month. Nine wins and 91 strikeouts in the month of February. She throws a strike, nothing and one to Watson, who is followed by Jordan and Dennis, the top three for Howard in this three-nothing Bruin lead. Two no-hitters for Megan this year. Threw one against San Diego on February 12th. And, of course, against third-ranked Florida down at Cathedral City on the 23rd. First time in two decades that Bruin had no hit a top three team. 1-1 one, one pitch. High heat there, swing and a miss. Got to go all the way back to Kira Garrell, no hitting. Number two Stanford back on March 28th of 2003. Last time the Bruins no hit. A top three opponent. And that's what Megan did in late February against Florida. Foul back there. Out of her 11 wins, four of them have come in relief. And, of course, you got to talk about strikeouts with Megan. 873 to her name all time, number four in Bruin history. Check swing there, no swing. Two balls and two strikes to Watson. 0 for 2 as she stands in. Faramo 79 more uh, Ks away from getting into the top three and joining Debbie Doom in that spot. High heat there and make it 78 away on career strikeout number 874 for Megan Faramo. Megan, of course, not in a win or loss situation out of the bullpen tonight, leading three to nothing, but does need six wins to jump up to number eight in Bruin history and career wins, sitting with 83 to her name. Lisa Longacre would be the next one she catches, who had 89 wins from 1987 to 1990. That ball chip foul down the left field. Nothing and two to Jordan. 11 and one, 1.26. Earn run average this year now. 106 strikeouts and eight walks. Better than 13 to one. Gets another one there. Two strikeouts in relief for Megan Faramo, 875 all time. Two outs here in the top of the sixth. And Howard's best hitter these last few years uh, standing in. And that would be Kalita Dennis, now a grad student from Elk Grove, California, first team all MEAC, four time all MEAC honoree. And on the National Player of the Year watch list in 2020. The initial one, ball fouled away. And again, for the third straight time, Faramo is ahead, nothing and two.
That ball hit in the air, left field. Kelly Gooden says she's got it. She does in a very quick one, two, three, sixth inning for Faremo. Bruins looking for a little more cushion here in the bottom of the sixth. They do have a 3 nothing lead all from the first inning tonight on UCLABruins.com. All right, three to nothing UCLA as we go to the bottom of the sixth. And one of the stars of the night right here, Jordan Woolery, a two out, two run home run into left field over the scoreboard in the first inning. Added to, at the time, the one nothing lead on the sacrifice fly by Megan Grant. That ball is ripped and it's a fair ball. Well, I thought for sure it was gonna be hooking foul. It dropped right on the chuck. And Jordan Woolery, first thing she sees, she is standing up on second base for a leadoff double. Really surprised from this angle. That ball looked like it was going to just continue to hook foul, but landed right on the line. So Jordan Willery, a couple of hits tonight. Bruins get their fifth as a team. And just the third hit allowed for Mia Gonzalez. And Jayla Castro get her second plate appearance. First pitch to Castro is outside. Castro 0 for 1 as a non-starter tonight. One ball, one strike. Riley Pinedo pinch running for Woolery on second base. Freshman from Camarillo out there on second. That one is low. Two and one to Jayla Castro. And they're in the number six spot for Powell. Lauren Carter scheduled to be next here in the bottom of the sixth. The Bruins look an attack on to this 3-0 lead and make it 23-1 going into the Pac-12. That ball's in the left center field gap up against the wall. Pinedo will easily score, and Castro will be easily tagged out. Oh, the throw in, making the right decision was Watson to go to second off and you'll see the throw geared towards the plate with the runner coming across, but that's the right decision to go to second, watching Castro looking to go to second and easily tagged out. So, but if you're UCLA, you certainly like that trade, get the run, tack on another, and the Bruins now lead it four to nothing. Bases empty, here is Lauren Carter. 
Carter is 0 for 2. Uh, one hop down there at third, and a throw across the diamond is in time. Nice short hop there by Jay Green. She's had a nice evening at third base. She's made some nice plays. Two outs. And here comes Anna Vines. Vines 0 for 3. She had a busy night, however, in the field. Gonzalez winds up. That is low, ball one. As for Mia Gonzalez, the first run she is allowed tonight. First three runs in the first inning charge to Amelia Weber, and she stands to lose it. And Gonzalez really gave this team a fighting chance and still has. It's a 4 0 ball game. Of course, Howard down to its final three outs. That one foul to the left. But Gonzalez has given up one run on four hits. A couple of strikeouts. And this next pitch will be her 62nd of the night. A long relief roll. Bouncing ball foul. And really one strike away from saying she had a fantastic effort and a long relief roll tonight, Mia Gonzalez. Sophomore out of Atwater, California. Oh, the outfield really shaded to the left. Watson, left center, and that Left fielder Jordan is pretty much married to the chalk. Two balls and two strikes. Goes the count. I think I said Vines was hitless. She does have one hit. In fact, it was the, uh, the one where we thought that she had her first double of the year. It turned out to be a single and then advancing on the throw. And there's a chopper and a Nice effort there by the shortstop Fletcher coming on in behind the circle and making the short throw. So the Bruins are done in the sixth. However, Well, Jayla Castro's first hit of the season, good for an RBI into the left center field gap, scoring Pinedo, the pinch runner, and the Bruins are up four to nothing, needing three outs on defense to go to 23 and one. Megan Faremo into her second inning, first pitch into Stewart is inside ball one. Stewart is 0 for two. Four, six, and one for UCLA, zero, two, and one for Howard. Bison and Danger are dropping all six of their games here in Southern California. But they are certainly looking forward to MEAC play once again, where they won it all last year and route to their second ever NC2A tournament appearance. Swing and a miss. One ball and two strikes. Bruins also three outs away from making it eight and zero at Easton Stadium. Take a 23 and one record up to Berkeley this weekend. That one swung on and missed, swung at a bad pitch. Megan Framo's got three strikeouts in relief. And here comes Vasquez, the number five hitter. Vasquez has one of the two Howard hits tonight. 
One for two. That ball hit in the air, center field coming on in, sliding and making the catch is Mayonio. Janelle Mayonio in there in center field. Two outs. Here comes Fletcher, the final hope for Howard. Well, it's been a very fast ball game with one out remaining for Howard here. The first pitch to Fletcher is upstairs, ball one. Right now we are one hour and 45 minutes in. Bruins need one out. Start thinking about the Pac-12. High heat there, swing and a miss. This next pitch will be for Ramos, 20th out of the bullpen. Of course, Taylor Tinsley will be the winning pitcher. She'll be 4-0. Weber will get the loss. She'll go to 1-4, and, and that ball a little bit too tall for Anna Vines. And that is the third hit for Howard, and the second hit for Fletcher. Fletcher bounced back offensively tonight after that first inning air at shortstop. First base runner against Megan Faremo. So Fletcher, multi-hit evening on a 1-1 pitch to the right side, a little bit too tall for always the acrobatic Anna Vines at second base. So Victoria Brown's coming in and pinch hitting for Doss. First pitch is foul back, 0-1. Victoria Brown was part of the all MEAC team last year. 5'4 sophomore from Carson went to Junipero Serra High School. And this year, she's got two hits and 12 at-bats. This is her ninth ball game. Driven in four. 0-1 oh, pitch. That'll miss. One ball and one strike. Three runs in the first, one in the sixth. Four to nothing UCLA. That ball is cued over the head of Garcia at first. And for the second time tonight, Howard's got two aboard. So a pinch hit single into shallow right field. That went over Woolery's head. I think I said Garcia, Matt Woolery first. Garcia's doing the catching, two on and two out. And Howard still needs another base runner to start thinking about the possible tying run. Fourth hit for the Bison. So Ricks is due up, but I think uh, Torrey Tyson might be going with another pinch hitter here. It is number five, Ray Thomas. 
5'8 senior out of Washington, D.C., which is, of course, where Howard is located. And Thomas on the year is 3 for 11 with an RBI. Swing and a miss. Straight heat there from Megan Framo. Nothing on one. Four singles tonight for the Howard Bison. They've been down to their final out now for a couple of batters. The 0-1 pitch, that is fouled away. And now for the third straight time, down to their final strike. Nothing in two. Next one is fouled away. Next time we are at Easton Stadium, one week from tonight, the opponent, Syracuse. That'll, of course, be following the Pac-12 opening series this weekend up at Cal. All day games, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 0-2 on the way, foul back, just got a piece of it. Ray Thomas. This is a senior in a pinch hitting roll against Megan Framo. Trying to keep the game alive. 0-2 pitch, waved that and missed on a nasty changeup in the Bison strand two. And Megan Framo preserves the shutout. UCLA wins it, go to 23 and one. Howard goes to four and 13 on the season. Four runs, six hits, one air for the Bruins. No runs, four hits, one air for Howard. And Taylor Tinsley goes to 4-0, while Amelia Weber takes the loss for Howard. And she goes to 1-4. and four. All right, so the Bruins are up in Berkeley this weekend for three to start the Pac-12. One week from tonight, back home against Syracuse, a 7 o'clock start. Talk to you down the road, everybody. My name is Darren Preston, wishing everybody a great evening. Jordan Woolery, a two-run shot in the first inning, along with a Megan Grant sacrifice fly. And then the first hit of the season for Jayla Castro, an RBI in the left center, 4 to nothing, UCLA over Howard. This has been Bruins Softball on uclabruins.com. Have a great night, everyone.